Good afternoon and welcome back to Girded with Truth. So we would have celebrated Good Friday, the death of Christ, him showing his love towards us. We would have celebrated Easter Sunday, his resurrection. I'm so excited that he rose from the dead for you and I. Without him, where would we be? So today, we're going to go to Luke chapter 24, and we're reading from verse 46 to verse 49. And said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behoved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead, the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. So, Jesus is telling his disciples to tarry, wait for the power. Jesus died for our sins. He died to show us his love. He died to show us that he loved us so much that he was willing to take away our sins, place it upon, upon himself, and be the sacrifice. But guess what? He also rose. He rose for you and I. He rose so that we could get the opportunity to receive that love that he had for us. The love doesn't just stay there and stay with the sacrifice, but he rose so that we can be partakers of this love, so we can receive that love into our heart, so that salvation could be possible. So that we can come before him, we can approach his throne of grace boldly and say, Jesus, forgive me. We can come and repent so that there could be remission of sins. I thank God for his salvation because the fact that he died for me to show me that he loved me, but more so the fact that he resurrected to give me the chance or the opportunity to receive that love spoke so much more to me than the sacrifice of him dying for our sins because he could have died and it could have ended there with his sacrifice but no his love goes on his love gives us the opportunity to receive him receive forgiveness receive that everlasting love and we became witnesses when we received that love we got a testimony we got a story we got an account of what God had done for us through Christ the reason why he was able to extend his love towards us was because he rose from the dead and we became witnesses of this love we became partakers of this love and we continue today to be partakers of this love to be witnesses to actually have the opportunity to tell others about the love of Christ if you have encountered Christ or you have had the opportunity to receive that love then you are a witness of Christ and the last verse talks about the promise of his father that he says will come upon us and this promise is the promise of the holy ghost but the last few words says that you should tarry until from the word until says until ye be endued with power from on high christ didn't just die so we will receive love but he died so we will receive power he died so that we can be made whole he died so that we can also help others to become whole he died to give us a supernatural power 
What are you doing with that power that Christ gave to us? The Holy Spirit is not just a comforter, but He pours out and fills us with power. This power is for us to make others whole, for God to really pour out into us so that we can pour out into others, so that we can heal the sick, we can make blind men see, so that we can be those people who perform miracles, signs and wonders through the power of Almighty God. So today I ask you, what are you doing with that power? Receive the love, receive the supernatural power, receive the comforter. But when you have received that power, what are you doing with it? What next? What are you using your power? Oh, so today I urge you, I decree and declare over you that that power you have received, that power you have yet to receive, you will be witnesses, you will heal, you will set free, you will deliver in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit. So today, I encourage you, grab hold of that power and use it for the honor and glory of God. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.